Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the value of x in this given figure. In other words, find the length of the common tangent line segment AB if A and B are the points of tangency and moreover, these two circles touch each other at just one point. And one more thing, the radius of this bigger circle is 9, whereas the radius of this smaller circle is 4. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and call these centers. I'm going to call this center of this smaller circle C and the center of this bigger circle as D. And here is one more thing. Let's go ahead and connect points B and C. Let's go ahead and connect these points B and C. And likewise, we are going to connect point A and D. All right, let's go ahead and do that one. And here is our nicer looking figure once we have connected these points B and C and A and D then we can observe that this line segment AD is also a radius of this bigger circle. That means the length of this radius is going to be 9 units as well. And whereas this for smaller circle, this BC is going to be the radius as well. And the radius is going to be a 4 units. And one more thing these radii, these two radius are perpendicular to this tangent line AB. So according to tangent to a circle theorem, the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So that means these tangent line and these radius, they are perpendicular. They have a 90 degree angle. And one more thing we want to do, we want to create a rectangle by just connecting this point somewhere on AD and this point C. And this point I am going to call this point on this AD, I'm going to call this point E. So now we can see that we got a rectangle. And here is our nicer looking figure with a nicer looking this rectangle. And we know that a rectangle has four angles each 90 degrees. The measurement is 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same lengths and are parallel. That means these are going to be all of these angles are going to be 90 degrees degrees as you can see and this side is going to be same as this one and they are going to be parallel so that means the length of this side is going to be x units as well and the length of this side is going to be the same as this one so thus this side is going to be a four units and this is going to be a four units as well and these sides are going to be x units, isn't it? And now we know that this whole, this radius is 9 units, and this is 4 of them, so we know that this part is going to be 5 units. And one thing, just keep in your mind that our this figure is not 100% true to the scale. And here is our next step. Let's go ahead and connect these centers C and D. So we are going to go ahead and connect C and D. And here is our nicer figure once we have connected points C and D. And as you can see over here that this line is addition of two radii. The first one is this, the radius bigger one is 9 units and this one is 4 units. This is the smaller radius and this is the bigger radius. So the length of total length of this CD 
line segment is going to be 9 plus 4 is 13 units so CD is going to be 13 units all together and here is our next step let's focus on this our highlighted right triangle C E D and here is our nicer looking triangle I have just put it separately over here and you can see that this length is going to be X units this is going to be a five units and this length of this segment CD is going to be 13 units and here is our final step let's focus on our this right triangle C E D and since it's a right triangle so we will be using Pythagorean theorem and here's the Pythagorean theorem Pythagorean theorem says a square plus b square equal to c square look at this uh, right triangle here I am going to call this side a unit a this side I'm going to call b and cd is the longest leg we always call the longest leg c and here is our Pythagorean theorem formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case a is x so I'm going to replace a by x to become x square plus in our case b is 5 units let's go ahead and put down 5 square equal to in our case c is 13 so I'm going to put down 13 square let's simplify furthermore this is x square plus 25 equals to 13 square is 169 now let's move this uh, 25 on the other side because we want to isolate x square so x square is going to be a 169 minus 25 so x square is going to become 144 let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square so we are going to get our x value as positive 12. so that's the length of this common tangent a b this a b turns out to be 12 units and that is our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.